back to work. Go on. I've had this piece of steel bar for years and years, never knowing what to do with it, and finally... One hundred grit going on.
these two guys are going to sit in a nice breeze for maybe an hour, get rid of all that water, run super glue all along the backside to fix the seams that uh, broke here and there, and uh, yeah, a little silver sharpie marker along some of these edges. JB weld the back, and uh, maybe I'll paint it all tomorrow. Maybe I'll paint it today. I don't know yet. And after another full can of the iced gray, totally done. I actually pulled the remainder of a black spray can out, sprayed from the far side in, and then painted back over with white. So in this far corner here, you can see a dash of the black paint, possibly in there as well. And I just put basically half a can of the iced gray on each of these. They look beautiful as is. I'm going to sand them down and then uh, they'll be ready for the JB weld. A little feathering in the front to repair things like this. There's not too many though overall. There's a little dent up there maybe. A little dent back there. A little mess up in there. And I'm not seeing too many cracks overall, which is really nice. So yeah, now these are essentially ready. Well, these are almost essentially ready to go on. It's 3.30 now, so I'll give the paint at least three hours to cure. I'll come back, sand it down, and then start doing the JB weld. Oh, so pretty. Nice and white. I've only got about six minutes left of battery, so rather than shoot me sanding all this, which I've done before, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. It's an hour later. Who was I kidding? I wasn't going to wait several hours. Come on. I'll at least start test sanding, and if it looks like the paint is going to sludge up rather than sand off, I'll back off. And here's the first one sanded with 150. Still wet. I'm going to sand this one down now. Actually, I'm going to go and rinse this off and see what I got. And here we are with the final uh, weathering effect for the torpedo tubes. Real nice stuff in here. So the lower of the two is the first one I did. This one just came out of the bath. Weathering is a little lighter than the previous one. I learned something from that and I had a really good insight into how to get a really perfect rust layer going on. Seeing this and how many and how I did it and how the uh, sanding took down under those layers, I really should start with a base silver, then do rust, then do a silver and build up from there. I may still have to shape uh, something up here. It looks like it's tapering upwards a little. And I'll probably fix this kind of thing up with uh, just silver sharpie. Keep it real simple. This really looks like painted over metal. So sweet. So with a minute of battery, I... by the time I started putting all the 24 hour JB weld down in the uh, far end of the tube, I didn't have the camera batteries charged or ready. Then when I finished this five minute JB weld off just half an hour ago this morning, I didn't really have the batteries all set or anything yet. Now that I do, the entire process of throwing this on has been missed. However, it's standard JB weld application. Mix it up, trough it in, walk away, wait. In this case, I put some neodymium magnets on the back to help uh, connect the piece to the car. 
I will be bolting from the front however I figured uh, for setting up purposes before it's bolted in having magnets in there would be nice and now that I've thought of that I'm either going to drill some precise holes at this end for a couple magnets or I'll put them on the back side in there and see if that's strong enough to hold it to the car while I step away make sure it's level and all that kind of thing this is still tacky at this point so well it's not too tacky yeah it is so it's still tacky at this point so I don't want to flip them over and show you the other sides but now that I think of it I suppose I could do this and there we go one complete look at both panels at the same time <laughs> it's really tough to keep them both it's really tough to keep either one in frame at all So for the installation, I may pre-drill some holes, uh, unfortunately I've got to, there's no way around it. Then putty them over and do a quick spray and then a sand down on the body. So even what you're looking at now may not necessarily be the final look of it when it's done. For example, I still have to put the uh, arrowhead on either this or the back side of the door, I don't know which yet, but we'll see. So there's not much more to do up here. It's time to bring these down to the car. I think my silver Sharpies are in the front seat. 